Hi, I have a book here that I want to share with you. It's called The Happy Hedgehog Band. And it's a fun story that you can read at Circle Time. And if your children have been well-trained in using their instruments um, by following directions, so that means that they don't just make a bunch of noise and cacophony without your explicit instruction, then you can give them instruments to join in during the story. So I'm going to go ahead and read it and um, we'll talk about where it would be appropriate to make their instruments make sound. Deep in the heart of Dickon Woods lived a happy hedgehog named Harry. I want you to notice a technique I'm using. I let the children see the story, see the pictures while I'm reading on the back, okay? So I wouldn't read like this and then show. It takes too long and all the children are saying, I can't see, I can't see. How many of you have heard that a million times, right? So you should be scanning the whole time. And if children say, I can't see, just say, it's coming, it's coming. But when you say, I can't see, then other people can't hear. So quiet voices, voices are off right now. It's my turn to talk. I will make sure that you can see it, okay? I promise. Once you alleviate their worry that they won't be able to see something, they can calm down, they can chill out because they know, okay, she said, she promises I will be able to see, <laughs> okay? That's, that's something that's key. Okay, I'll start over again. Deep in the heart of Dickon Woods lived a happy hedgehog named Harry. Harry loved noise, so he made a big drum and he banged on the drum. Tum, tum, ti tum. Now here is where you can get out all your drums. And this is where they drum. They start banging on them. And look, the picture even shows him banging on a drum. A hedgehog called Helen was out in the woods. She heard tum, tum, ti tum, and she liked it. So she made a drum and went off to join in the drumming. Okay, boys and girls, bang your drums. Keep reading. So now look, they're both banging on their drums. And then so did a hedgehog named Norbert and another named Billy. They both made drums and followed the tum tum ti tums until all of the hedgehogs with drums were gathered together at Harry's. Okay, boys and girls, everybody bang on your drums right now. How much sound can you make? And then do the five, four, three, two, one thing again, and then go, oh. Now let's find out what happens next. Tum, tum, ti tum went one drum. That was Harry. Diddle, diddle drum went one drum. That was Helen. Rat-a-tat-tat -tat went one drum. That was Norbert. And boom went one drum. That was Billy. <laughs> tum, tum, ti tum, diddle, diddle dum, rat-a-tat-tat, -tat, boom. Tum, tum, ti tum, diddle, diddle dum, rat-tat-tat, boom. Oh boy, look at how much fun they're having. All the wo woods were humming and tumming with drumming. Okay, everybody, bang your drums for 10 seconds. Ready, go. And then count off 10. And then when you get to one, cut them off. You have to practice that beforehand, <laughs> just FYI. And here they are. You would show this picture while they're all drumming. And then after you get them to be quiet, then you say, stop, cried the pheasant, the owl and the bee, the mole from his hole and a badger called Sam and his mother and the fox and the crow, the deer and the dove, the frog and the toad and the spider and the dog who was lost in the wood. <sighs> they didn't like all that noise. Tum went the band. Just like you did, boys and girls. You just stopped too, didn't you? That was good stopping. <laughs> we want to play too, said the others, but we don't have any drums, so what can we do? And nobody knew except Harry. Harry knew all about noise, so he said, you can hum, you can hoot, you can buzz, you can whistle, you can clap, 
you can click, you can pop, and we'll carry on with the drums. So you could have a group of boys and girls who have drums, maybe like five or six, and then everyone else can whistle or clap or hum or buzz or pop. They can do all these fun things just using their mouth and their body and their hands. And then of course you would say, okay, everybody, now make your instruments make a sound, whatever those instruments are, whether it's your hands or your voice or your drums or your tongue, may everybody make a sound. And then this picture is great for showing everyone making a sound. And you can just show this around while all your little ones are just hooting and hollering and clapping and stomping and whistling and buzzing and drumming their drums. And then you turn the page and it's another page where there's not really any words. It's just making noise. Everybody make a sound. Everybody make a sound. And then bring them back together. You know, do your five. And the dog who was lost in the woods just danced. Tum, tum, ti tum, diddle, diddle, dum, rat a tat, tat, boom. And that's the end of that book. That's a cute little book. Preschoolers love it. Okay, thank you for listening.